Hey guys, okay, so my hair is, I don't know what we got going on here, but I am just cleaning my room. As you can see in the background, I have clothes. We have a treadmill there now. This is where it's going to stay for now. Um, so I can work out my room. I have plenty of room to do it. Um, right there are some jackets that I have to hang up. And then those are some shirts in that that I'm going to hang up on my clothes rack. So I actually like circulate through my clothes and I wear them more because I'm noticing that if they're put up in like my closet or put in like the dresser or bins, um, I don't grab them. I grab kind of what's convenient, what's in front of my face. So that being said, the rack has helped a lot and I actually circulate through those clothes. Um, if I didn't tell you today is Thursday, today is Thursday and I am, like I said, as I'm sure pretty much all of you are right now, like decluttering and hardcore cleaning your stuff and I figured what better time to do it than now because most when I go back to work like me I'm just on vacation right now so, so I know some of you guys Brian may be off work until like I think he said April the second week of April which that was my guess I kind of figured that he might go back that time so me I'm just gonna use this time to do the things that I want to do but I never have time to do you know what I'm saying so my closet is a big one. I want to dive deep and clean in there so I can start putting away like different things and throwing away things that I haven't touched in years. I don't even know what's in that closet. Um, I have a lot of like seasonal radon things I need to put away. I'll just show you guys real quick what it looks like before and then I will show you the after. This is what we're working with. Like see I have a lot of seasonal radon stuff. I have Christmas. Um, again more Christmas stuff that I'm, I got for Christmas from my mom and them if you guys watch that Christmas video and then I have like my Halloween and then I need and to I just need to clean like all of this stuff <laughs> and find homes to put the stuff in and then like that's something Brian's mom got me for Christmas and then these are the Radon bulbs that oops I'm obsessed with that my aunt made for me my mom got them for me. My aunt made them. And then the closet. <laughs> like that cube, I don't even know what's in there. I'm sheerly curious what is in there. I had that when I lived with my mom and dad. So I'm going to dig into that and kind of see. I have like boxes from Christmas. Um, This is just like a lot of backups. Um, nail removers, more nail removers. Um, little cotton pads to do ombre nails. That's what I use. Um, this little drawer, my God, I've had this since I was probably like, I don't even know, probably like 14, 15, I don't know, but I need to go through this and kind of get rid of all, <laughs> but basically I should just, I'm going to clean this really good and then kind of organize it better. Um, I have little like clutches there that I want to put like up there. There's the top of the closet. Again, seasonal stuff. I have the Christmas tree. And then Halloween skull, which I'll keep the skull out all year long just because I love skulls. And, like, my makeup. This is my everyday setup. It's a disaster, and I'm not... Hey, it is what it is. Um, Yeah, so we are going to hard clean this stuff and get rid of all the dust and crap because this is just insane. So, yeah. I want to open this. I'm going to see what's in that and show you guys. So I felt the need to show you a couple of things. Funny thing, I bought these years ago. This is like the year me and Brian had moved out, um, got our own place. And these were the knockoff version of the Jeffrey Campbell Litas. I love the heel, the wedge. The color is so cute. And I think this is the first thing I ever bought with my, when I first, like, I was like 18, 17. And I just started Taco Bell. And this was like one of the very first things I had ever bought with my check. I got these. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where I got them from. Uh, it doesn't say. Go Jane. I don't even know if that's a website anymore. But I have never wore these. Bought them. Wore them around the house more than anything. They're like brand new. And yeah. Did any of you guys have these? Do you still have them? Do you wear them? Don't know where the heck I'd wear them. These. <laughs> Why did I have these? You know, there's a piece of fuzz. We got these for a holiday. Um, 
was I like, I think I was like thing too for Halloween and I wore these. I'm pretty sure. And they look insane to walk in, but believe it or not, they were easy to walk in. Put you in mind of Lady Gaga. I'm pretty sure like Brian had got me these, I think. But again, probably only wore these once. I don't know where the heck we got them from. And then I was looking and I found my old Taco Bell shirts, my little manager shirts. I had, I kid you not, probably 60 of these. Um, I'm just going to throw these away because nobody wants some dingy old Taco Bell shirts. But I found some like really nice stuff that's brand new that I never wore, doesn't fit. And instead of me just holding on to it, um, I'm going to just donate it. But yeah, these shoes are cute. I, I think I might keep these. These, I don't ever see me ever needing them. <laughs> and then I found these old shoes. These were called pastries and these were old. Again, I've had these probably since I was like 16 and I never wore them. They're kind of cute now that I look at them. <sighs> yeah. Are any of you guys hoarders with things and hold on to stuff just because? So I found this little box full of old stuff from when basically I have notes from high school that I kept. And Brian, funny thing is he still has all the notes we had through high school. Don't know why we kept them, but I'll probably read you one of them or show you guys. Wow. Do you remember writing notes in school? None of you guys probably do now because... Texting really wasn't a thing. <laughs> I saw an old saying that, but I graduated in 2011. But I found this I made in school. And a lot of these are pictures when me and Brian first started dating. That was our first winter fest or homecoming. This is just one of my best, um, you know, best friends. This is hilarious. There's me and Gran. It's blurry. Me. Sniffing his head, don't know why. Ugh. That was our first picture we ever took together. <clears throat> Jacob, then there's me and Brian. Oh, that's cute. These are freaking adorable. This, I don't know what I designed, but cute. My old cap, and then I found a bunch of old like pictures. Do you guys remember like going to the movies? And they have, um, or the mall, they had those little photo booths. They pr they still do, but, um, yeah, wait till I show you. This is our old, this is my old corsage. I have another one. I put them in my yearbook and I press them against each other, but this one's one of them. And I keep every card, so wait till you see that. <laughs> I keep everything. Old pictures. That girl, um, she was one of our older best friends. Uh, she lived down the road from us. She's going to be in a lot of these because we hung out with her all the time. Obviously, that's Carolyn on your left, me on the right. Carolyn's hair looks really cute there. Um, yeah, my another one of our old um, best friends. And what the heck is, what was I doing with my hair? <laughs> like in this picture too. Jesus. <laughs> looks like Carolyn has like blue in her hair. I think we both did. <clears throat> oh god, this is like one of my first one, first ones we ever did. This is gold. I gotta send these to her. This is too funny. And then... Oh, jeez. My face. Oof. I wore that hoodie all the time. Then just some of our other old friends. Oh my gosh. Carolyn and her hats. Jesus. I know I I don't know if I have a lot with I don't know if I have any with Brian. This is probably before I met Brian. This was around the time I met Brian and all that. That shirt I had forever. This is gold. And then this is my dad, Jake and Carol Ann. <laughs> Hilarious. I gotta send this to them. And then, oh god, I have, I have a ton more. Again, older best friends, Carol Ann. She's freaking cute. Boof. Ooh, that face. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. I finally learned how to put my hair down and straighten it. It only took forever. <clears throat> I sometimes feel like I look no different than however old I was right there. These are hilarious. I think that might be it. And then, what else? I used to keep, I think, a whole collage of these up until we started a date. Like, until our one year. Five months. Four. Six. This is all from Brian, mind you. Oh my god. Seven, he made me these. <gasps> and then our one year. And that bathing suit, that was one I, I desperately wanted at Aeropostale so bad. And I know I have it still somewhere. And then the shorts, he had those. 6808. That's when we started dating. And this is hilarious. I gotta show him these. Literally, this is what we do in school. <laughs> Freaking cute. Oh, this is a cute one. Oh, hold on. Hmm. Oh, he did a good job. He's an artsy fella, obviously. That's cute, too this one. Ben 10, huh? Jacob was obsessed with that. 6808. Loki almost want to frame that. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we were obsessed. I don't know. Uh, I was obsessed with Superbad. And in the movie, that's where we got that from. Yep. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I, I don't want to bore you guys. I would read you the notes and all that, but God, I am afraid to even see what's wrote in those. The last things I'll show you are these. Oh my God. Could have definitely used a tummy controller on that, but <laughs> I had to have that dress. It was, I got it from Deb, if you guys remember that store. And, um, Went to this dance. We, I kid you not, we were there for probably 30 minutes. And my mom was so mad at me because we came home and spent all that money on that dress and that. And I was only, like I said, I was literally only there for like 20 minutes. Yeah. I'll show you the other one. This is the cutest we ever went to. Can you guys believe that's Brian? He's bald now and he has a full-on beard. Funny thing is, Carolyn wore this dress to one of her dances. She went to and... We look literally like twins, but yeah, this was back in 2008. I don't have a prom one. Thank God I don't because woo buddy, someone should have told me and him both quit tanning and I wore the wrong dress for my body type. It was really beautiful, but oh my God. <laughs> All right. So now, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My closet's basically clean. I just got to throw this big thing away. Hey guys. So today is... Saturday and the lining in here is like crap. I just got done straightening my hair, did my makeup some. Um, something that helps me during this quarantine time and that is doing my hair and makeup and my nails and that. Just because I like doing that because I don't feel as like gross, disgusting, just laying on the couch all day. Even if I am, if my hair and all that's done, makes me feel a little bit better. But I want to show you guys something that I use on my hair. My hair's not dirty. My hair just naturally gets greasy because it's thin. Um, if you are blonde, I would recommend just using baby powder. It works great. Okay, so I have my stuff like on my little makeup vanity where I do my makeup every day. But yeah, um, like I was saying, I use baby powder for my hair because... Um, my hair, like I said, I do wash it every day. If I didn't, it just looks really, really disgusting. Like, maybe I don't, I don't like wash all down here, but just like the crown of my head, I do wash because even with baby, like 
dry shampoo and all that. I just, I don't know. It's gross. So everybody's different. I do recommend don't wash your hair every day, but I definitely still do. And like I said, what I use is baby powder. It works really well. And my hair is kind of flat up top. So when I put the baby powder in, it kind of like gives it a little bit of volume. I don't have any in right now, but I will get ready to put some in. But that's just like a little tip for you guys if you have blonde hair. Now, if you have, like, if you're brunette or you have darker colored hair, I wouldn't recommend the baby powder just because it does leave, like, a little, like, like a little cast over your hair. Like, you can see, like, the white. It's really visible if you're a brunette, which obviously that makes sense, but some people may not know that. So, yeah, um, blonde, if you don't want to spend the money on dry shampoo, which I actually have a few of them, I have this one. This is really nice one. Yeah, I like the smell of this one. This is really nice. And then I have a few others. If you guys want me to tell you what products I use on my hair, definitely could do that for you. But yeah, pretty simple. I buy this huge jug at Walmart, $2, I think, and it lasts me forever. So that's a little tip for you guys. Okay, also today we are going to my mom's house to have dinner. I'm talking kind of low because Brian's sleeping. And um also, what was I going to tell you guys? I've been addicted right now to two things. Um, and like I stated in my one video, it's called Tiger King on Netflix. Have you guys watched that? What are your thoughts on that? Because my mind was blown. It's insane, but it's so addicting. Like me and Brian started watching it a second time. So yeah, it's really good. And then also um, an app I downloaded that I'm obsessed with right now is, is it like Color My Numbers or Paint My Numbers? I don't know which one it is. Um, it's free on the app store if you, um so you should download it and um play it because it's very fun if you like coloring which i'm like a little kid i love coloring so i told carolina to download it and she did and she likes it um yeah that's just something that i've been doing i really don't want to go back to work i've really enjoyed my time off i love being with brian all day long um some people don't like being home. It's not like my number one favorite thing to do. I do love going to stores, but just being home with him during this time, I really appreciate and I love. And I definitely don't take it for granted. Uh, what else? This is like an update for you guys. The dog's birthday is coming up soon and it's April 11th. So I know Brian will be off work. Um, I know we can't really like go to a lot of stores and buy them stuff. Like, because normally I know I sound like ridiculous, but they are like my children so normally like I go out and I buy like the party hats and everything like I'm that extra and uh like this year maybe a little bit different I can't I'm not gonna go out and buy like a ton of stuff we should be staying home I know that I'll probably go to the pet store and get them at least like a little treat or something just because yeah those are still open um but as far as just like going to stores like I would go to TJ Maxx and buy them a new bed and new toys and all that I might buy Bailey Bailey's the only dog that plays with toys. The other two, they don't really play with toys that much. So, yeah, that's what's the game plan for today. And I go back to work on Wednesday. So, yeah. Um, then I got my schedule. So, Wednesday I go back. I work for five days and then I'm off for two. Which is totally fine. Um, during this time, my work was really awesome. Uh, we got, like, a bonus for working during this. And they're also paying us $2 extra an hour which is really awesome until I want to say May 1st. And if I'm assuming if this, all this stuff is still going on, which fingers crossed it's not because Brian's birthday is May 10th. Um, what was I going to say? I lost my train of thought. I'm assuming they're going to pay us more still. I don't know, but I'm very grateful for that. And I'm very like, I feel very blessed in that aspect. And what else? Also, we have a trip coming up the end of May, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have trips and all that that you've had to cancel on that. I'm kind of thinking that we're not going to end up going. We were going to Hocking Hills with like a group of people and we rented out like a cabin and all that. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't know. I really hope we can celebrate Brian's birthday, though. I feel bad for every single one of you that have had a birthday during this stuff and you can't really celebrate the way you want to it's kind of sad I know it's not kind of it is very sad I love birthdays so yeah I'm hoping that we can celebrate I still gotta think of something to get him normally by now I have like a good idea but I don't know good morning 